Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here we go again another security update for Pixel devices and I have here my Pixel 4 XL with Marsh security update and it seems like Google is very busy these days releasing a lot of new features along with Android 11 developer previews so let's see what's new in Marsh security update for Pixel devices but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video so let's jump in most of the features that come with Marsh security update for Pixel devices on Android 10 are pretty much the same features we saw in Android 11 developer preview 1 and uh, the first feature I'm going to show you here is the dark theme schedule. So if we go to settings and then go to display, now you see the dark theme option with this vertical line, which means you can go inside the feature. And here you have the schedule option, which is something new to Android 10. And you only have one option here, which is turn on from sunset to sunrise. Unlike the uh, Android 11 developer preview one you have the option to do your custom schedule so let me show you this on my pixel 3 xl so on my pixel 3 xl if you go to settings and then go to display dark theme here you have two different options other than none you have turn on from sunset to sunrise and turn on at custom time so if you tap on this you will be able to set your own schedule but the android 10 still doesn't have the custom schedule it only has from sunset to sunrise so you need to keep that in mind the second feature i'm going to show you now is called rules and you can reach it under settings and then system and then advanced and you will see a new option called rules actually this is a new feature it's not part of marsh security update but google pushed it at the same time it's a server side change and i saw it on my phone before even updating to the marsh security update the first thing you need to do to activate this feature is to give it access to run in the background and as you see at the top it says this feature needs to run in the background to update your settings and when you tap on next it will give you this confirmation and when you hit allow now the service or the feature is active. So how this feature gonna help you? It simply changes your phone settings based on a certain trigger. So let's add a rule to understand more. So I'm gonna tap on add rule and the first thing you get here is add Wi-Fi network or location, which means every time you connect to this Wi-Fi network or reach this location, your phone will automatically do a certain action. So I'm gonna tap on location and choose, for example, Dubai mall all right so here you will get the location you want and also this slider to choose how far from the location you want to trigger the action so i'm going to keep it as uh, small as i can 80 meters diameter and i'm going to tap on confirm after adding the location now i can choose from four different actions either to turn on do not disturb set the phone to silent, set the phone to vibrate, or set the phone to ring. So as you see, the list of actions is pretty limited now, only four different actions to choose from, and I hope Google will increase the number of actions in the future. But still, it's a helpful feature, and the first thing that came up to my mind, I'm gonna use it to set my phone to vibrate when I'm at work. Because I don't want my phone to ring in a meeting or something, so that will be easier for me, I don't need to memorize uh, putting my phone to vibrate or to silent mode every time I go to work. So let's continue adding the rule and I'm going to choose here set phone to vibrate. And there is another option here called send notification when rule takes effect. This option simply will notify you every time a rule gets applied on your phone. And I think I'm going to use it because it's going to confirm to me that the rule I've set has been applied successfully on my phone. So after finishing all the things you want, just tap on add at the bottom right corner and the rule will appear here in the list of rules you have and you can either delete it straight away or you can simply tap on it to edit it in the future. So that's pretty much it with the rules. Let's check the next feature. Another feature exclusive to the Pixel 4 that we saw in the developer preview one of Android 11, which is under motion sense. Now you have the option to pause music by doing this gesture uh, so for example if i turn that on and play some music let's say 
So here I have a music playing and here I'm pausing the music and here I'm playing, here I'm pausing and it works pretty well. Another feature that we saw in Android 11 developer preview one that I got with this uh, March security update is under display on the Pixel 4 only if you go to advanced and scroll down to the bottom you have here a new option called increase touch sensitivity it says here improves touch when using screen protectors so if you turn it that on your phone touch should be more responsive so I'm gonna give that a try and see if it makes a difference or not. Another change here in the location permissions. So I turned off the location permission for my camera uh, to show you how the location permission is now different. You have different choices. So if you go to settings and activate the location, now you have three options, either to allow only while using the app, deny or deny and don't ask again. So this is a new option I didn't see before. So if I hit deny and don't ask again, so it will not turn on. So every time I try to turn on save location in my camera, it will not allow me to do so. Uh, so to solve this issue, you just need to go to settings one more time and then go to location, app permissions, and activate the camera yourself. So it's completely gone here. I'm not sure why, but uh, let me try one more thing. So let me try to go to the app itself, the camera and permission. And I need to activate it from the apps and notifications to be able to reactivate my location permission one more time for the camera. So if I go to the camera one more time, go to settings, save location, is now turning on normally. Another feature we saw in Android 11 developer preview one that is now available in Android 10 with Marsh security update, which is the ability to pin apps in the share sheet. So I have here a screenshot and when I tap on share and get my share sheet, I can tap and hold on any app and pin it to the quick apps to easily reach it in the future. And if I want to unpin the app, I can tap and hold on it and tap on unpin. So it will be back to its original position. Uh, so you can just use whatever apps you want. It works with, with each and every app. So let's say Bluetooth. So it's here and unpin it. It goes back again. So that's a really neat feature. I'm happy with it and it makes things easier for me. Another new visual change we saw in Android 11 that is now available on Android 10 March security update is the default app selection. For example, I have here a link from Reddit and when I tap on it, you will get a new design for the default app selection. Uh, as you see this horizontal lines that separate the choices and another change when you tap on, on, on the other app it takes you straight away to the app without tapping one more time on uh, always or just this time like this just once or set to always but when you tap on the other app it will simply take you straight away to the app without tapping twice there are also a lot of fixes and improvements for all pixel models starting from the pixel 2 up to the pixel 4 and you can see them now on the screen also, I'm going to leave the link in the description for the full list of fixes and improvements so you can check them yourself and see if your issue is now fixed. One of those improvements that I noticed straight away after installing March security update is the app switcher animation. It's now a lot better than before. You see it's a lot more smoother and it doesn't do any kind of glitches or any hookups when you switch between apps. It works really, really well. And also I noticed one more thing I didn't know before. If you are in this screen and you swipe at the bottom bar, the apps swipe with you as well. I'm not sure if this is something new or I didn't know about, but I see this also working really well. So expect a really nice app switching animation here with the more security update. Uh, as you see here, it works really, really well.
So as I mentioned, there are a lot of fixes and improvements related to the camera, the system UI, the audio, the Bluetooth and more. So it's worth checking and if you are impacted by any of those issues, that will be very good news for you. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.